video with me, Mr. Gill. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, subscriptions, and all of that jazz. I really, really appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about my top five rock tips, or my top five reign of chaos tips. I believe I've done this before, but they've slightly changed, so let's do it again. Uh, basically, guys, reign of chaos obviously is an event, an event that I think is absolutely the most important event in the game. This event runs uh, for three or four seasons. And basically it's training you and leading you up to the New Eden event which happens now all four seasons of Reign of Chaos is going to take you roughly a year if you haven't seen or can't see Reign of Chaos in your events tab it will come or you've at the end of one season or you haven't started yet so don't stress about it it will happen um, we're not going to talk about how to be part of Reign of Chaos there are videos on that in my channel and on other channels so you can check those out if you want to know what exactly the basics of reign of chaos are ah, but let's go through the top five tips are you ready <laughs> top five number one as soon as reign of, Ch reign of chaos starts you need to get into your reign of chaos menu you need to build your honor structures obviously you need to upgrade your coalition base camp so this is the coalition base camp or what i call the cbc uh, you can eventually have four of them based at all alliance centers. Obviously there are four alliance centers and you can have four coalition base camps. These are the things that allow you to increase your loyalty. By increasing your loyalty, you can then take higher level tiles. By being able to take higher level tiles, you can then take higher level resources. By taking higher level resources, you can process them in the frontline workshop and produce more materials in order to upgrade your coalition base camp. Higher level resources. Ooh, it's a Monday. I don't know if you can hear that. That's what's the that's the Stockholm emergency alarm. <laughs> um, so that goes off every month or so, uh, just to test the emergency systems in case there's war. I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't realize it'd be going off right now. I should have uh, timed this a bit better. Um, it, it is quite noisy. Uh, but basically, guys, uh, by increasing this coalition base camp, it is the kind of the fundamental building of the Reign of Chaos game. So upgrade your CBC. And obviously you upgrade that by processing raw materials in the Frontline Workshop. You can see that here just quickly. You get these things, which are called military supplies. Those are the things you need to upgrade the coalition base camp. We can click into one very quickly and say view. Let's find it. White screen of death. Oh, that was pretty quick. But if we click here, level up. You can see that I need another 300 and so thousand in order to upgrade this to level 9, which gives me an extra 100 troop loyalty. That 100 troop loyalty will hopefully be the loyalty I need in order to take level 12 tiles. Yes, clicking on this tile, I can see that my current loyalty is 4,701, and I would suffer 2.53% damage. By upgrading this to 4,801, that will go away, and I should be able to take this level 12, 12, tile without any uh, hit point damage uh, on my troops so that's number one tip number two tip is chase the influencers okay that sounds odd but I thought it sounded funny uh, basically guys in the rock tasks reign of chaos tasks you can see here reach 220,000 influence value uh, and you will get a reward let's have a click on that reward no let's go back in the Reign of Chaos task, show me the reward. There you go, the reward is gonna be 60,000 honor points and one expand plan. This is the best way to expand. So expand plan means you have more territory. Uh, honor points are what you use to increase your specialization. This is the fastest way to get higher specialization and more territory. So by increasing your influence value. Now, how do you increase your influence value? Very simply, you take the highest level tiles you can and you can take as many of them as you possibly can. That's kind of the key. Yeah, so really, really important. Focus on this task, reaching 220,000 influence value uh, right at the beginning, beginning of Rock and during Reign of Chaos as well. You can see I've lost quite a lot here. I used to be a bit higher. That's unfortunate. Some of the tiles that I did own have been taken back in other states and I will have to rectify that very shortly. Um, number three tip. In terms of your speciality, I suggest, and this is just my suggestion, that you always go construction first, which is the middle one, and you always go left first. Okay, so we're, we're thinking this is the start of a Reign of Chaos season. 
uh, you want to go processing fast. You want to increase the amount of stuff you can process and you want to increase the speed at by which you process that. And you also want to get to this one here, which gives you an extra processing queue. We can see that here in my honor structure, Frontline Workshop Production. You can see I have two queues up here, so I can be processing two things at the same time. That is very, very helpful at the start. Um, in terms of what you do after that, that is then up to you, but I would suggest maybe going for demolition power or something else. But that's up to you entirely, and maybe I'll do another video on what I would do. Um, number four tip, in your territory. And we can see that here. We have one thing over this side, which says 73 of 87. Those are the tiles I own in my state which is state 259. And then we have one thing over here, which is nine out of 87. Those are the tiles I own in other states, so enemy states effectively. Um, this is where you should be getting your resources from. You should be going into other states, and obviously you have to have done that after your first duel. A rally point needs to be placed. You need to have a blue tile, which is a tile owned by your alliance in another state. And then from that tile, you can tile out and start to get more resources. Now it's super, super important to have that. So that means that all of your tiles left in your state can be used for defensive purposes as opposed to resource gathering purposes. Now you can see here nine out of 87, I don't have a lot. That is because in the other states, they are then taking my tiles back because they don't want me to have any spots in their state gaining resources or maybe a secret tile or a ninja road, etc., etc. So. It is a back and forth battle <laughs> that you constantly do for the month and a half that uh, Reign of Chaos lasts. But it is really important because it frees me up to have 73 or 87 tiles in my state that are purely defensive. Uh, which is really important because it means that, you know, enemies can't place a rally point. They can't port in if I've covered all the tiles as much as I possibly can. Number five tip. And I guess this is something that I think is really important throughout the season and throughout the entire four seasons of Reign of Chaos is stones or bunch of rocks. Um, donating and getting stones and bunches of rocks is seriously important and you should be doing it as often as possible. Okay. Now I'm not saying that you need to donate these stones into the building section, which is here. You can see donate. I could donate stones right now. How many have I got? Not many at all, but I could donate stones here. At the start of the season, definitely. But what you want to be doing is saving these stones up because they add to your personal score. So your personal score in Reign of Chaos, you can find here, Reign of Chaos, Season, Alliance Intel, and you can see the Season Contribution. And this is my contribution or personal score. I've got 16,000 points. You need, as it says down here, over 10,000 points in order to receive rewards from Reign of Chaos. Now Reign of Chaos, the rewards are only for every team ranked 1 to 40. Yeah, anything outside of that. So if you're ranked 41 at the end of Reign of Chaos, within your in if your alliance is ranked 41, sorry, you will not get rewards. However, if your alliance is ranked within number 1 to 40, you will get rewards as long as you have over 10,000 points. So it's really, really important to get that done. And stone donation at the start of the season is a really easy way to get that up. You can see I've got 7,000 and the rest of my points have come from, um, basically season points is taking tiles and finishing uh, rock tasks and destruction value is attacking buildings, etc., etc., etc. So those are my top five Reign of Chaos tips. As I said, they've slightly changed from when I did the last time, uh, but upgrade your coalition base camp Maximize the amount and influence value you can have, which will give you better results from your rock main tasks and give you more honor. Uh, focus on the construction speciality first, and then look at maybe demolition value. Tile, you're, you're in other states, so get your resources in other states. And number five, always be buying stones, donating when you need to, but saving them up because you will definitely need them in, in seasons to come. I hope that helped everybody. Let me know your uh, top five down below and I'll catch you again soon. Cheers. Bye.